My hair's been in a bonnet for two days. Let's see how it looks. Hmm. Okay. Hi guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to my channel. I know some of you are gonna wait for me to do this song. <laughs> Lana summer summer time. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stop doing it because a lot of people thought I was singing it really out of tune because they didn't realize I was singing a different version of the summertime song. Yeah, everyone just thought I was really, really out of tune. Anyway, welcome if you're new, welcome back if you've been here before. Today, I am gonna show you some of my favorite formal hairstyles for curly hair. These are my favorite curly hairstyles for formal occasions, like weddings, dances, proms, graduation. I'm just going to give you some quick tutorials for these hairstyles so that you can follow along and hopefully you can wear these to the next formal occasion that you have coming up. But if you guys want to see more formal hairstyle inspiration then you can definitely check out my page, check out my channel because there'll be tons of videos on there. I post tons of shorts, I post tons of reels with hairstyles all the time so if you're not following me on Instagram go over and check me out on Instagram as well. I would really appreciate it and I think that there would be a lot for you to enjoy it as well because I'm constantly posting hairstyle inspiration like literally. <laughs> I don't want to ramble on too much so I will just jump straight into it. Let me know which one of these hairstyles was your favourite in the comment section down below and let me know if you enjoy longer videos like this or if you like the shorts that I've been posting. So without more further ado let's get into the hairstyles. Okay so for this first hairstyle I am starting by just taking some hair to frame my face like this. I just want to give you guys a little tip because I always get asked. So whenever I'm doing hairstyles for videos like this I'm always starting on either freshly washed hair or hair that just doesn't have any tangles. It makes it so much easier to do these hairstyles. So as you can see I'm just starting by tying this. I'm using a satin scrunchie and whenever you see me using scrunchies I'm always using the scrunchies from my brand which is Headshoot and I'll that link down below. So I'm just going to loosen that scrunchie so that I can make an opening here. I'm splitting my hair in half so that I can really easily squeeze my hand through the gap and grab the rest of my hair and pull it through the gap. So it's really important that you don't have any hair in the way so that this can come through really smoothly and once you master it it's really easy and it looks great. So then I'm going to start twisting the rest of my hair up towards the back of my head and I'm going to secure that with some bobby pins. You are going to need quite a few bobby pins just to make sure this stays in place and then once I've secured that I'm going to add a really decorative clip so I'm going to add this jeweled clip and I think that it just looks really classy. I love wearing my hair like this to any kind of formal event, especially a white tie event where it's the protocol to have your hair up. So you have to kind of do like a little updo and I just feel like this is a really easy and classy way to do it. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of this hairstyle? Okay, so this next hairstyle is gonna be a down hairstyle, so I'm gonna leave most of my hair down. I'm gonna take a big section from one side of my head and I'm gonna bring that around to the other side. So we're gonna be working on the side of my head. I'm really enjoying side hairstyles lately, I don't know why. Don't question it. So I am gonna tie this together with a standard hair tie. I know it's not satin, it's just a regular hair tie but you'll see why. So I'm gonna twist this ponytail. So I'm gonna flip it up and then in towards itself. I'm only flipping the pieces of hair that I've tied. So I don't have to worry about separating the rest of my hair or anything. I'm gonna do that a few times. So I'm going up and in again. And then one final time, I'm gonna flip that up and in. And you can see that it creates this twisted effect. Then I'm going to take my little bejeweled clip and I'm just going to clip that and it obscures the hair tie. So that's why I needed a really small hair tie for this because if I'd used a satin scrunchie it would have just been a bit too big and it would have looked a bit messy underneath that clip. So I really hope you guys love this hairstyle. I love it so much. It's giving me a very ethereal, angelic vibe and I love to just leave my hair free and flowing around the front of my face. I don't like to try to control my edges or anything like that because I feel like that takes away from the ethereal natural vibe so I really love this let me know what you think in the comment section down below
Okay, for this next hairstyle, you can see my hair's getting a little bit frizzy because we're on hairstyle number three. So I am leaving some hair around my face naturally and I'm then gonna tie my hair at the back. This is gonna be another updo. So I'm using my satin scrunchie again. And guess what? I'm gonna lower that scrunchie. I'm gonna make a gap and I'm gonna flip my hair again. So this is a similar technique to what you've seen in the past two hairstyles. It's more similar to what you saw in the first hairstyle because we are doing it for all of my hair. So when it looks like this, I'm gonna do that again. I'm opening up all of my hair and I'm gonna flip my hair through that gap one more time, except this time I'm only gonna pull my hair through halfway so that it looks like this. And then when you're just holding the ends of your hair, just fold them down, tuck them underneath this kind of bun that you've created. I'm using bobby pins to secure the ends of my hair. And I feel like this is a really great way to showcase your curls while still having your hair up, because as you can see, the curls are still got room to spring around right there. I feel like royalty with my hair like this, like is the crown hiring? I want to be on the crown. <laughs> I want to audition. Let me know what you think of this hairstyle in the comment section down below. This next hairstyle is going to be another down hairstyle because I like to keep things balanced. So of course I'm going to start off just by separating some hair at the front of my face. Then I am going to take a section from the top of my head. You guys can see how I separate my hair. I'm always really gentle when I'm separating my hair. And then I'm gonna tie that. Again, I'm using a regular hair tie, not a satin scrunchie this time. Sometimes you just need something that's a little bit smaller so that it can't be seen in the final hairstyle. So when I have that, guess what I'm gonna do with it? I am going to twist it up and in. Just the same as with all of these hairstyles. I don't know why I am definitely kind of obsessed with twisting my hair like that lately. I'm gonna take a ribbon, you can take a hair scarf, anything. And I am then going to combine that with a piece of hair from the front of my face and a piece of hair from all the way around the other side of my head. And with these three sections, so we have the section that we tied and we have the two sections that have a piece of ribbon in them, then I'm going to braid that. So I'm just going to braid that all the way down to the ends and I'm going to tie that with another hair tie. It should be a hair tie that matches your hair colour. So I'm using a black hair tie just so that it can't be seen and it kind of just blends in with the rest of my hair. You guys can use any kind of ribbon. I wish I had a ribbon that matched my dress but it could be something glittery or something like that. Let me know what you think of this hairstyle. It's a little bit experimental. I'm not entirely sure what I think of it and I definitely think I could improve on this but I just really like the idea of a side hairstyle like this so definitely let me know what you think. Those are my current favorite formal hairstyles for curly hair. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Remember to thumbs it up if you did. Also subscribe so that you don't miss all of that other hair care tips and inspiration that I'm posting. And leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you want to see next. Do you like curly hair care, curly hair styles? Or would you like to just see more of what I get up to? Because, you know, I've been doing a lot. I've been doing a lot. And it's not always to do with curly hair. And if you want to see it, then just let me know. I really appreciate you for watching this video the whole way through it really does mean a lot to me and it really helps with the algorithm it really helps with my videos and i hope that you have an amazing rest of your day thanks so much for stopping by and i'll see you in the next video bye Girl,